Hi everyone, today I've had a request to hack Earth Defense Force, uh, more or less to do a script on how to unlock every weapon. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? I'm going to do a brand new file with no guns. I'm even going to show people, because I've had this question a lot, how to find guns if you don't know what the values to the guns are. It's pretty easy. So, you don't have to do this, you can choose any class, but for this tutorial, my favorite is the um, Wing Diver, so I'm going to choose that class. And what I'm going to do to find that very first weapon is I'm going to do an unknown initial value scan. Start out by doing that. So, I'm going to pretend like I don't know what that value is, which I don't really remember, I'm old. Uh, but I'm going to change it go to cheat engine and we'll say it's a changed value and you'll repeat this process each time you change that over and over and over again until you're down to like a few addresses and then you can just pretty much play around with it and use the process of elimination to find out what address it is and what the value is so let's go ahead and do another change scan We didn't change it there, so we'll do an unchanged scan. You can kind of get at what I'm going at for uh, finding this value here. It's it's really easy. This method will work with just about any game if you don't know what the value is to the uh, what whatever it is you're trying to look for and hack. So I'm just gonna shut up here and we'll, we'll narrow it down real quick and get right to the, the point of this video. Okay, we only got 350 left. Let's take a look through here. If uh, you're feeling brave, I mean, you could keep going the way I was going and narrow it down to like literally like maybe 50 addresses, 10 addresses, whatever. But I'm feeling brave here, so let's see if we find any values that might look like they're what we're looking for. Uh, what we're looking for. Let's see. I saw one up here. These two look interesting. Let's change the Reflectron laser back to this. Okay, so now we got 198. We can even do a chain scan. But that was originally 230 when we had the Reflectron laser. So let's change these back to 230. Alright, so it did change our gun, we just don't know which one. Change that one back to 198. Alright, so we found what we were looking for. That's our first weapon. So if we browse this memory region, we'll see stuff looks just like this. So if we scroll all the way down here past this junk, you'll start seeing these question marks over here on the right hand side and these 83 F's. We want to keep scrolling down past that. We'll see more junk like this. You keep scrolling down past this and you'll see more 83 F's and eventually that will come to an end and right here you'll see a zero one and from there I believe that is where the weapons begin but what we want to do is we want to look for a particular weapon it's the Armageddon cluster gun or the other uh, super weapon I forget what it, what it's called but we want to look for those and see uh, what accesses those uh, what accesses the address to those guns so let's get started uh, what I like to do is I just like to do this. Change all these to zero ones. They're all four byte addresses. I just think this is a lot quicker. Just start pasting it like crazy. Grab a few of these and copy those. Grab like big chunks of those and just keep going. And occasionally look back at your weapon list, because you're unlocking weapons while doing this, and glance to see 
if the Armageddon Cluster gun has been unlocked. There are a lot of guns in this game, so it may be further down. Might take you a couple times to do that. Let's take another look. Alright, so we are starting to unlock some Wing Diver guns, but we're not anywhere close to the Armageddon Cluster gun. I think we're getting a little closer. Let's try it twice and see if that works. We don't want to go too far. Alright, so we got the Armageddon Cluster gun. What we want to do is start zeroing these out so we no longer have the Armageddon Cluster gun. I'm sorry, tongue tied. But once we no longer have it, we want to find that exact address that is responsible for unlocking that, and we want to find out what it accesses it. So, let's go through here, and we'll copy the, uh, about that many zeros, that many rows, and we'll just start zeroing these out. Alright, so one of those rows was definitely responsible for unlocking the gun. Alright, so it was somewhere in this row right here. So, start zeroing them out by four bytes each. Because I mentioned earlier, all guns are just four byte values. So it wasn't that one. It must be toward the end of that line there. We'll find out. Yep, I found it. So we go four back right here. This is our Armageddon cluster gun address that we were looking for. Doesn't matter if you change that to four byte. I don't know why I did that. It's a habit. So what we want to do is we want to find out what accesses this thing. Hit yes to attach the debugger. And what we do from here is we back all the way out to the title screen. Hit yes. We go back uh, into the game, like we're going to start it up. Select your profile, mission mode, one player. And you should get instructions like this. The one we're looking for, and the one we want, I believe, will be this one. It's a uh, test byte pointer, blah, 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 blah. And it's pretty easy to unlock it all. Just watch how easy this is. You hit show and disassembler after highlighting it. Hold in control and press A. Holding control shift and then press A. You'll get that box. Hit OK on it. And we'll call this uh, weapons. Doesn't matter, but change it from something else other than inject. Get rid of that stuff. And what we want to do is copy this whole line here. Go one line above it. Type in MOV. And just paste it. We're done. So then from there you hit file. Assign a current cheat table. Close out of that. Close out of that. Call this weapons. I don't know if we'll still have weapons from uh, when we were doing this earlier, but let's start a new profile so we can see if this works properly. Make sure it's checked, though, before you start and load your profile up because I've ran into the problem where it didn't work. Unless if that was already checked. So we should be able to go into class equipment. And as you can see, we have all the weapons for every class. Let's check out the wing diver. Every weapon. Even the Armageddon cluster gun. Um, that's pretty much all there is to this. It's uh, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Leave a comment. Um, if you have any other requests, leave that in the comment section.